Hi everyone. Uh, please turn up the sound. Uh, did I do that right? <laughs> please turn up the sound. <laughs> I, you can see I have problems with my signs. Anyway, this video is designed to help you tap the healing power of love in every part of your life uh, with your relationships, with the world, with your body. And if you allow yourself to tap that amazing power that is in, embodied in the love that you are, it transforms every part of your life. So uh, let's just jump right in. So, and also, uh, uh, please share this uh, as we, uh, you'll see you'll like it. I would really like you to share it with those people you care about. And again, if you're just tuning in, uh, please turn up the sound. So let's go for it. So allow yourself to focus inside or focus on your heart. And again, love isn't just in your heart. It's actually everywhere. But when we focus on our heart, it really helps us access that power that is love. And we're going to do this in two parts. The first part is a holistic release on love. And the second part is this very powerful way of invoking love first within yourself and then sharing it with the entire world. Not that the world might need a little love at the moment, but just in case. <laughs> so at any rate, allow yourself to focus wherever you do, including your heart. And then, as best you can, could you just simply find something about your body, your mind, or the world that you either hate or dislike in some way? And could you just simply welcome that hate or dislike? because you just let it be here. And then, could you welcome, as best you can, the feeling of like or love for that? Now, if it's something that's strongly uh, hate, hateful or that you strongly dislike, at first it may be hard to get in touch with any liking or loving for it, but if you just stay open to it, it gets a lot easier and the, you'll find that the hate and the dislike is dissolved by that power that is the love within you. So again, I'll focus on that same thing and could you allow yourself to welcome any feeling of dislike or hate you have for it? And then, as best you can, just for now, could you welcome the love and the liking that's always right within you? And then again, could you welcome any dislike or hate? Could you just let it be here? And then could you also welcome the love or the liking that's always right within you? And again, could you allow yourself to welcome the hate or the dislike? And then could you welcome the like and the love that's right within you. And then could you allow yourself to welcome any remaining dislike or hate? And then could you welcome the like the liking or the love that's always right within you. Now, even if there's something that you strongly hate, that's okay. 
if you allow yourself to also welcome love, you'll find that in the love you find solutions. In the love you can still stand strong for what's right. In the love it has the power to transform whatever it is that you're focusing on. And if it's something that you feel justified in or genuinely like you hate, just know that if you're willing to just open to that healing power of love, what will happen is that's much more disarming than hating it. In fact, when you hate something, you reinforce it. You give it power. But when you love it, if it's something negative, it dissolves. If it's something positive, it just gets bigger. It gets magnified. So now let's take this a step further. In this moment, could you allow yourself to focus on your heart? And as best you can, could you get in touch with that radiance, that light, that is love, that's always right within you. And could you just allow yourself to welcome that love, to let it be here. Let it fill your heart. Let it shine. And then could you allow yourself to welcome the love that's also already in every of the 50 trillion cells in your body? At the core of every one of your cells is love. So could you fan the flame of love within you? Could you welcome that love? Could you let yourself bathe in it? And by the way, doing this is also very healing for the body-mind. And then could you expand your consciousness as best you can beyond the body and allow yourself to at least get a sense of how that love that you are is already surrounding you in your environment, in the trees, in the flowers, in the walls, in the floors, in the furniture, in the people. It's everywhere. So could you just let it fill your environment? Or notice that it is already filling your environment. Just do this as best you can. And then could you just let the love that you are shine into your entire city? and everyone in your city and everything in your city, wherever you are on the planet. Make sure you let the love also shine in or on and through even the people you disagree with. And then could you allow the love that you are to expand even further and let it shine on your entire country and everyone and everything, all the people, all the plants and the animals, all the inanimate objects. Could you let your love shine in and on them? Could you notice how they are already bathing in that love that you are as best you can? Remember. Just do this as best you can. Even just a little inkling of this has a powerful healing effect on your body, mind, and world. And then could you just let the love that you are shine in and on and through the entire planet? The oceans, the continents, the animals, the plants, the people and all the inanimate objects, all of it. Could you let the entire planet bathe in or on that love that you are? And through. And just like a pebble dropping in a calm body of water, let the ripples of love pass out into the entire universe. 
Just see love radiating infinitely in all directions from your heart. And notice, even as you're expanding into the entire universe, that love that you are is still right here, right now. You don't need to go anywhere. Underneath any emotion, underneath any turmoil, underneath any problem, is that healing power of love. And if you just simply put your focus on it, if you give it your attention, it will start to transform every power, every part of your life. So just allow yourself to take this with you. Allow yourself to be shining lights of love in your body, mind, and world. And also allow yourself to share this with everyone you care about. You can do this process with them. You can encourage them to watch this video. And also, if you're really wanting to go further with the Sedona Method, please join us in one of the upcoming events that we're having over the next few months. I list, there's a link to them in this email. So again, uh, please like and share, and, and uh, please, uh, well, you, you already uh, turn up the sound, you hopefully you've already done that. But anyway, I highly encourage you to do this with the people you care about, to do this with yourself, to let the healing power and the, the amazing grace that is love fill every part of your life. And I just want you to know that I love you very much and I honor you and rejoice in that which you are. So thanks for watching and until the next time, bye.